Calais 2018 the Festival of Creativity, but is creativity being lost in all the technology and all the data? One man who's got some pretty strong opinions of this is Alan van der Molen at, uh, at We Communications. Go on then, what's your beef? So I think in general there are three players in modern marketing. There are brands, there's humanity, and there's technology. And I think brands are being discounted and so is creativity, and there's a tug of war between technology and humanity, and I think technology is winning. And I think technology is winning through some pretty poor practices by Facebook and GDPR, by some questionable practices by Google, and I think, you know, Amazon's overtaking brands in the world of creativity, and I think that's a real problem for brands overall, and they're kind of absent from the debate this year, and I think it's time to reinsert brands into that debate. But the CMOs that I talk to say that uh, creativity is critical, McKinsey's research about that balance between creativity and data can drive double the growth you don't seem to agree necessarily with that take. Well, no, I, I don't, because you've got the McKinsey's of the world and the Accenture's of the world very focused on performance marketing, and they're telling brands that their creative is crap and it's not effective and it's not driving sales, so then the brands are going to the agencies and saying this isn't working, so it puts the agencies in a really strong bind, and it forces them, I think, to discount the humanity part of brands and marketing in favor of technology to satisfy what the management consultancies are saying. And I, I also think there's a bit of a hidden agenda on, beha on behalf of the management consultancies who are doing basically backward integrating their business and they're acquiring and marketing services. So I think brands really need to be careful because I think maybe there's a wolf in sheep's clothing entering the market here. And if you go up and down the beach here, how many marketing services agencies do you see with Prime Cabanas? None. It's the technology companies. Disintermediation, where does this fit in? If you've got all these tech companies wanting to work with brands directly, how is the creativity being lost in that? Well, look, I think in general, disintermediation brings greater value to consumers. And consumers will naturally disintermediate things in between them and the goods and service that don't provide value. And I think brands need to reassess the engagement value that they're bringing in modern marketing, or we're going to end up in the gray landscapes of Orwell's 1984. Let's look at the nicer side of creativity. You're involved in the uh, picking of winners. What do you look for, and is there a, a secret source to winning? Uh, look, I think that there's an art to winning, right? I think obviously you need to start with a brilliant insight, find creative that translates that insight into actionable um, things for consumers or your tar target audiences to do. But I think what wins Lions is a beautiful two-minute film. And I think there's a little bit out of balance there as well in terms of measuring the efficacy of the work at the same time as celebrating the creativity. Because creativity has to be, and it's just focused on humanity, and I also think solving problems. And I think we're getting a little bit away from the solving problems and focused a little bit more on the beauty of the film. Alan, thank you very much. My pleasure. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.